Hey everyone, it's me again. I'm compelled to make this video. I have to. It's hard to explain. If you don't know who I am, tune in to my other videos. I don't know how many more videos I'm going to put out. But I got to get the word out. So, doing what I got to do. I'm not a good speaker, not highly educated. So, here we go. As everyone knows, I was attacked by demonic demons and the real. Uh, they ultimately wound up killing me. Dead. Forget about it. I woke up in the valley. Anyway, tune to my other video for that. And this happened about... 2012 and I went on with life praying every day uh, but other things were shown to me after that or during that whole attack thing uh, and that went on for about 18 months to two years so I'm going to give you what's on my spirit and heart that I have to get out there because whoever, so you are going to hear this and know. And the ones that hear it and think I'm crazy, so be it. Let it be as it is. Let it be for the glory of God and my Savior Jesus Christ. As I feel, I need say it. For his glory, not mine. I was shown a church. And then the church was filled with people. And this is, I won't even get into it how I got to the church because I was there physically. I wasn't out of my body. The demons decided if they, if I didn't bow down to them, that's a whole nother story. Just trust me. If I didn't bow down to them, they were going to kill my brother, which they were trying to do. And I snatched him up and took him to the church. And started praying to get some holy water on him and pray and all that stuff. And anyway, make a long story short, when I turned around, God opened my eyes. All Jesus opened my eyes. And I seen in the pews people, elbow to elbow, dressed in the clothes of everyday people. They were everyday people. Can't remember if there was children there, but it was just people. Like the church was packed. Except their eyes right here not just the eyeball not the lid the whole orbit they glowed white like the white light that came from Jesus when I was in the valley and he saved me they were swaying back and forth with their heads up with their eye on Jesus so now I can't sleep stuff like that I know I have to tell you that repent repent i don't care repent if you don't believe in jesus christ you need to start believing in jesus christ you need to believe today it's it's urgent that you believe in him today um also i was shown it was like i was and I was wide awake, like I said, not on anything. Some people say, oh, he's on some good stuff for this. No, nothing. Uh, it was like I was led into a courtroom or a council chamber. It was all marble and it was huge. It's about maybe half the size of a football field. And there was a guy sitting on a throne, a big chair almost as if a child would climb up on your kitchen chair when they're when they're smaller and they climb up and then they sit on it that's what this beast did it was a beast the reason it's a beast is because of its gluttony I, i'll get into that it climbed i'm in this council hall or whatever it's all marble and this beast sat on a chair that was a little too big for him which I felt was a throne. 
And don't ask me how I knew I knew because Jesus was there with me. He showed me these things. It was a throne. And as he sat on the chair of the throne, there was two women, um, young ladies, one on each side, fanning him above his head with uh, big feathers. It was like I was led into this room that was all marble in front of this beast. And as they led me in, he crawled off his chair and he reached over to a big tray. And on this tray was fruit, I believe, or olives. Because he grabbed one and he put it in his mouth and he climbed back on his throne. At that point, I made eye contact with the lady that was fanning him. It would be on his right. She had dark hair. She was thin. I guess about, I don't know, 110, 15 pounds. When I made eye contact with her, she put her head down in disgust. And that was it. That what I was, that's what I was shown. Now the beast on the chair, I know who it is. Time's running out. Trust me, it's running out. You's already, I, I, the Christians, I believe you know who the beast is. But the beast that I seen in the chair, and God give me the strength to put this video out there. The beast in the chair was the Russian leader, Putin. So, I don't know when I'll put this video out. I'm taping it now. I'm going to pray on this, but I want the video to be made. That way, when I'm in the spirit and the Lord talks to me, then I'm doing the right thing. Because I don't want to put anything out there to deter anybody. I just want you to know to repent. Go to Jesus Christ and repent. Every sin that you can recall, ask for forgiveness. Bow down to Jesus Christ because he's coming. And it ain't, you don't have, you don't have years and years and years and years and years. It can't be overlooked anymore. Uh, that's all for now. You know, I, I want you to know, spread God's love. And that's how you do it. Every hand you could shake, shake it. Uh, 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 every person you could talk to, hold the door, do it. I believe that's how the church is all going to come together. Um, try and it's hard to put into human words what I've seen but these are the things I know and seen and these are the things that the Lord's putting on me to put out there so may God bless you all repent follow Jesus I love you